Father, in the name of Jesus, we openly confess that the word of God will come forth boldly and accurately during the Women's Conference, June 27, 2015, and that the people who hear your word will not be able to resist the wisdom and the inspiration of the Holy Spirit that will be spoken through your ministers, your speakers of the gospel on this day. Now, Father, we confess that as your word comes forth, an anointing of the Holy Spirit will cause people to open their spiritual eyes and ears and turn from darkness unto the marvelous light, from the power of Satan to you, God, and make Jesus their Lord. Father, we commit this meeting to you. We deposit it into your charge, entrusting that this women's conference, the people will hear and the people who will speak into your protection and care, we commend them into your spirit. We commend this meeting to the word, the commands and the counsels and the promises of your unmerited favor. Father, we know your word will build up the women and cause them to realize that they are joint heirs of Jesus with Jesus. Now, Father, we believe that as your word comes forth, an anointing will be up on the various speakers that will be coming in from the north, south, east, and west. Father, the women's conference will be submitted completely to the Holy Spirit, for the word of God that is spoken will be alive and will be full of power, making it active, operative, energizing, and effective, being sharper than any two-edged sword. Father, we believe that every need of every person will be met spiritually, physically, mentally, and financially at this women's conference. Father, we thank you, Father, and we praise you that because you, we have asked and agreed together, Siola and I touching and agreeing, praying that these petitions will and have come to pass. Not will come to pass. have already come to pass, Father God. We thank you. So, Lord, let these words with which we have supplication before the Lord be near to the Lord our God day and night, that you may maintain the cause and the right of your people, of your women, in this women's conference, June 27, 2015, as each day of it requires, Lord. We believe that all the earth's people will know that the Lord is God. And that they will really leave there rejoicing and knowing that they have overcome in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, I continue to pray that those who hear the message at the women's conference will believe, adhere to, and trust in, and rely on Jesus as the Christ. And that all those that you, that you have called to attend the conference will be there and receive what you have for them. Let it be known and understood by all that it is in, in the name and through the power and authority of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and by means of him that this conference is a success. Not because of anything that we are doing or anything that we can do, but because of you, God, this conference will and is a great success. Lord, I thank you that the speakers will be filled with and controlled by the Holy Spirit. Now, Lord, when the people see the boldness and the unfetting eloquence of the speakers, they will marvel and recognize that they have been with Jesus. Everybody shall be praising and glorifying God for what shall be occurring. By the hands of the ministers, numerous and startling signs and wonders will be performed among the people. As these women tell their stories, give their testimonies, sing their songs, and even, Lord, if they dance their dances. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that you have observed the enemy's threats and have granted us, your bond servants, full freedom to declare your message fearlessly while you stretch out your hand to cure and perform signs and wonders through the authority and by the power of the name of our whole, your holy child and servant Jesus. We thank you, Father, that when we pray, the place in which we are assembled, the crocket, the center in Crockard, will be shaken, and we shall all be filled with the Holy Spirit. And your people shall continue to speak the word of God with freedom and boldness and courage. 
By common consent, Father God, we shall all meet together at the Women's Conference on June 27, 2015. More and more individuals shall join themselves with us. More and more tickets will begin to be purchased. Every day you will add to the ticket register as you see fit. And a crowd of both men and women, but we prefer we're requesting women, will be there. And the people shall gather from the north, south, east, and west. The women will bring the sick and those troubled with foul spirits, and they shall be cured. Thank you, Father, that our speakers are women of God and attested character and repute, full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom. The people who shall hear will not be able to resist the intelligence and wisdom and inspiration of the Spirit with which the speakers will speak. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for the performance of the word in Jesus. So, Lord, now we ask that these speakers, as I call them out by name, Sister Alicia Brown, Sister Janaza Dusan, Pastor Elba Castillo, Sister Lori Robinson, Doctors Lakita Long and Patricia Jones-Gory, and last but not least, Tony Ward. Lord, we ask that you look upon the organization, organizers. Lord, Sister Lorraine, Lord, put a spirit in her. Lord, jumpstart her anew, Lord Jesus. And then, Lord, I ask that you hold up our leader, Ciola, Lord. Ciola Abrams by name. Lord, she is laboring in your vineyard. Lord, she gets weary sometime. But, Lord, let her know that she will reap in due season if she faint not. Give her to just lean to, to trust on you, Lord, in all of her ways, acknowledging you, knowing that you are directing her path. Lord, let her know that you got her, Lord Jesus. Let her know that she doesn't have to look to the left or look to the right, but just to continue to look straight ahead to June 27th, the Women's Overcoming Conference. For I have overcome, Lord, and she has overcome. And each and every woman that comes to that conference will leave there as overcomers. They may not come as overcomers, but we're believing that they will leave there as overcomers. Now, Father God, we do give you glory. We do give you honor. Let this little video be a blessing and a source of encouragement to Ciola whenever she looks at it, whenever she needs to be built up, whenever she needs to be encouraged. Let her look at this little video. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. And we thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name.